Guys, now we're going back. There was a little Iranian adventure here. Yeah. Unofficial adventure. Morning. Ready to go? Ready, ready. Yo, yo. Oh. Magic time. Off we go. How are you guys? Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Are you? Nice, Slimani, nice. It's good, Slimani style. Oh, good. Okay, good. <laughs> Today it was time to visit Halabja Governorate. <laughs> It was established in 2014, becoming the fourth governorate of the Kurdistan region of Iraq. So this is the border to Iran. Badakhan was ready and I was ready to hit the road and drive close to the Iranian border. Road trip adventure. Here in this part of the world we are very relaxed people. Very chill. That is too short. So why we should hurry and rush and things, right? Or yes. left? Yeah. <laughs> Time is not always so important. Yeah. Important, but not the priority. This is my school. And you are always late? I was always on time. On time. <laughs> it was just seven minutes walking and I was always late. This one day actually I said today is my birthday. Yeah. The professor told me, but people celebrate in the evening, not in the morning. Oh. And I say, yeah, but I'm like different. Hello, my friend. Hello, man. Hello, boy. Hello. <laughs> How many people are in Halab? In here, almost 50,000 people. Okay, we are now entering the monument here in Halabja. And this is where the chemical attack happened in 1988. Very, very sad. Halabja boy. Halabja boy from Halabja. Yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. They speak Spanish and. Uh... Quito. Well, your former president, Mam Jalal, okay, back like in 1964 when he visited the city. It's now 33 years since this Bloody Friday, as they call it, the massacre, the chemical attack here in Halabja. And it's a day to remember, a sad day, of course. So guys, this is one of the airplanes they used to bomb Halabja, and this is the old Iraqi flag with three stars. So Saddam Hussein, he wrote, God is great on the Iraqi flag. Why? So nobody can disrespect the flag. You got me? Mm. And uh, yeah, so... And uh, now, like uh, after the Saddam fall, they removed the three stars and kept the um, God is great. Mm. But they just changed the script uh, okay. the way of... The chemical weapons deformed the people's faces so they couldn't recognize them and therefore they put them all in a mass grave. All the names are written in black except one name written in green. Why? Because back in, like, a couple years ago, one of the lost son of Halabja, they did DNA tests for someone who were uh, living in um, Iran and his new family told him that they found him in Halabja. So he might be one of these lost people. So they did DNA tests and there was a local family here. They also did DNA tests and the match. So it turned out that one of the lost sons of Halabja are still alive. That's why you see the color of his name in blue color. That's a beautiful story. Yes, exactly, a motivational story. Yes. So hopefully we will find more of them and we change from black color to green color. Hopefully all of them. Hopefully. Time for yeah, coffee and burek. Fresh, fresh uh, and for me, water. A special one for me. And, and maybe one pee. Okay, and uh, uh, for me. What now? My friend, where are you from? Next stop, Iran. Please fasten your seatbelt. Cabin crew, ready for departure? Everyone is ready? Yeah, let's fly. Let's fly to Iran. Woo! So I'm getting a lot of compliments for my outfit. I really blend in perfectly here in this border town to Iran, this little Kurdish city. 
How many mm -hmm. times have you been to Iran? Oh, so many times. Officially or unofficial uh, here? <laughs> I've only been to Iran one time in 2018, officially. And there I was for two weeks traveling around solo. Now I'm gonna go a new place in Iran, unofficially. So, let's go together. <laughs> But don't tell anyone. This is a secret, everyone, secret. all of my followers. <laughs> don't tell Just anyone. between you guys and us. And all the Kurdish legends are chilling out here. Hello. Great, guys. And you are a tourist, not a terrorist. Yeah, made out of wolf and it's really warm. Wow, looks comfortable. Are you freezing? No, and this is like, uh, we use this for like warriors. Yeah. To put the, like, what do you call, diggers. So it's easy to like, ah. get it out there. Wow. Kill our enemies. You don't have enemies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's getting steep here. We are making our way up. And we're all not the way up. All, all the way, way up. up. I'm all, all the way up. up. Always when you say something, I think you have a song ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cross the border to Iran. That's how to do it. Back again. So now I'm close to have been in Iran for 10 times. Iran. 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 This is the fastest way to go from a country to another. Easy. Woo. What is that up there? That's an Iranian border house. It's an Iranian like border Like a family house. actually. Like it's a family living there. Go up. Go up! They have Now we'll visit a family from Iran. But in case if you see any soldier, don't talk in English, okay? Now it's getting exciting. We are actually crossing into Iran right now. In case there are soldiers, we need to not speak English. I see the guy up there. He looks like a legend. Let's see what he's all about. Salam alaikum. Kefalak. You're from Iran? Uh, Iran? Zen. Uh, Zen. Uh, Are you Iranian? Uh, uh, Iranian. Uh, English. No, English. Uh, Arabic. Uh, Arabic. Arabic. Uh, 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 Arabic. They are Kurdish, Barakan from Iraqi Kurdistan and these guys Iranian Kurdistan or East Kurdistan. East Kurdistan, yes. So guys, now we're going back. There was a little Iranian adventure here. Yeah. Oh, you got to hear <laughs> not, not officially, unofficial adventure. Hello. That guy, you think, what are you guys doing? That makes sense. Because we're making boomerangs for Instagram. This is our beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I never thought I would say this, but I have a big knife in my pants and I'm not afraid to use it. Who has, Who has the best beer? beer? He's coming. He's gonna fix your, what do you call it, turban. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Huh? Huh? You say where is your hat? The proper one with hat. <laughs> How long does it take to get a beard like <laughs> my friend? Like our grandpa? <laughs> It will take a lifetime actually. <laughs> Someone is using my word, magic. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting nervous. No. <laughs> Do you have any country you like? Yeah, I love all countries. All people of the world. Because uh, we are just one big family. Uh, we are the ancestor of Adam and Eve. Anywhere where you feel happy. <laughs> Any country you don't like? Um, no. 
because every place has its own beauty. It just, we just need to watch the beauty around us. Then we will realize that everywhere is beautiful. Everywhere there is beauty. <laughs> Arigato. Love across borders. No borders, no boundaries, no barriers. Yeah, yeah. Life never stops. That's why we should always be <coughs> happy. Is that fake Kurdish beer? Uh, this is a, very tasty sadness. <laughs> Does it have alcohol? No, it's a virgin one, but it's so delicious. Afu, I think you're fair. Ciao, give me. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Just the salt on the side had me a little surprised. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like about Alapja? I like history, people, food and the nature. The nature is so beautiful of Halabja. We had the perfect lady. 